the girls last year, they just kept such a great attitude. Um, and it, it was just really fun to watch us get this thing started as the first collegiate team in the Charlotte area. The bulk of our schedule is actually um, division one through three schools. Um, so it's gonna be challenging for sure. I have coached at every level from division one to high school to club. Um, and it's just the relationship. What I want when people see us is even someone who's never played a sport in their life to be like, I wanna be part of that team. Go Rhinos! <laughs> this documentary is sort of to highlight not only the trip to the national championship that's in Florida, um, but also to highlight my class and what we do as the sports broadcasting team and what all it takes to do this kind of stuff. I'm gonna try and show behind the scenes of the travel, the food, the hotels, try to get some coaches interviews, player interviews mixed in there. There'll be some shenanigans thrown in here or there, and I'm gonna show behind the scenes of when we actually do the broadcast. I wanna thank Dr. John Hooser. I wanna thank Gaston College for sending us, and uh, stay tuned. Justin, tell them about it. <laughs> Thoughts you, on that? You are looking live from Caramont Health Park where Sherrod and I and the rest of the crew are about to get prepped for a weekend down in Florida. We are uh, discussing about our Florida trip next week. I am very excited to go. Aren't you, Matt? I am extremely excited. As in, like, there is no graphic for score information. It's just the camera might happen to catch that individual court score, and it's on you to sort of relay that. We get there when it starts, and I mean, we just find where we're at and start going. Right, I mean, you can't do that hard. Yeah. But watch it be great TR. I mean, I'm just. My job as the athletic director is to put our teams in the best position I can to try to win championships, and hey, we get to go to Florida next week and compete with an opportunity to do that. Appreciate it. Is there, uh, what's your thoughts on the sports broadcasting team getting a chance to go out to Florida to bring the game live on GC Rhinos? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, I think we're ahead of the game on that. Um, I really do. I think that uh, the service that you guys provide is invaluable not only to, to beach volleyball but to all of us. Uh, I know that uh, from a recruiting standpoint it's great to be able to tell our parents that, you know, 95% of our games are live streamed and, you know, a year from now the goal is to, that, for that to be 100%. And, um, it's just something that is not offered at other places, and it's an opportunity for you guys to uh, to go on the road and test that. And then, you know, hopefully maybe we do the same thing for our region tournaments for, for baseball and for softball. So, um, you know, enjoy your trip. Um, remember what you're there for. I know you will, and we're so excited that uh, uh, your group gets a chance to uh, let us, that can't go to Tavares and I was lucky as you, an opportunity to, uh, to see us play. Thanks, Coach. We appreciate your time. You bet. Go Rhinos. It's a great opportunity for our broadcast team as well to get out there and, and do something in a remote location. And I think it's going to be awesome. It's going to turn out really, really cool. Go Rhinos. It's a lot of hard work, a lot of preparation. Production people know that, you know, I'd say 80% of the job is prep, 20% is the day of. So just trying to basically do everything we can, check all the boxes, but also not overload the bus. Um, and that's it. Boom, everybody's on camera. Yeah. Beach right. Beach we loaded up. Right, that's what it looks like. A lot of Sir. stuff going on. How was the night last night, Justin? Uh, I slept good, but not long enough. I hear that. Yeah, got in late, but we we here in Florida now. That's all that matters. What's up, everybody? Let the How people know doing? what's Let's going on. Coming to you live from Tavares, Florida, with my man Max, yes sir, A Dove, and just incredible on the MIC. Oh man, oh baby, go Rhinos! Go Rhinos! Go Rhinos. Hear the horn. Yeah. What's your immediate thoughts now that we're here? Oh, relief. <laughs> right. I'm um, just very excited that we're here. I'm excited that the team is here. They worked, they worked really hard to get here, and, right. and this is a really exciting time for Gaston College. Because our region is bigger, we had to duke it out with five other teams, mm -hmm. and we got the third spot. And um, and we're here at Nationals, and that's a really exciting thing. Um, logistically speaking, we had some travel snafus, um, and we were without transportation to the venue. and. Uh, it took a lot of hard work, 
with a lot of different people helping me out yesterday. Um, we got it together, we got on the road, and and we're here the next day. From everyone with my group and the sports broadcast team, I just want to say thank you for all the work that it took for you to get us here. Not just you know us, but the team and yourselves and all the logistics it took. I just want to say thank you. Oh, well, thank you. Go Rhinos. Thank you Go very rhinos. much. Hi, when you feel, please open up into the court. Call the ball. Whoa! <laughs> it's all right. Try to drop, give them a little top spin throw. Can. We're working in groups of four, so you guys are going to target in, in shot. So if I'm here, I just want you to peel pop right here. Okay? Two thirteen. Okay. Okay. So who is going to be checking? Um, her name. <laughs> Put the one beside the elevator. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. All. all right. So what I would recommend is organizing um, this in a, an order that you would know where things are. Um, okay. Because right now it's just all jumbled around. Just interact with them as, from the get go. Yeah. Like do something different. Let's keep it light, keep it fun. Something they'll talk about after the broadcast is done. Live on camera one, you're clicking on that camera one even while the intro video is playing. That way you tell them, all right, we got three or five seconds left on the intro video coming in live on camera one in, in three, two. Coffee time? Absolutely. We got to get the coffee. Where'd our man Justin go? So I got Talmadge here, the bus driver. We love Talmadge. What is your thoughts on Championship Day getting started today? Anything you want to say to the lady rhinos? It's a beautiful day in Florida. We're going to stomp them. Go ladies, go rhinos. Dustin, get it on. Day one of the NJCAA National Championship Tournament live from Tavares, Florida. First time ever a Gaston College Athletics program and sports team has earned a bid to compete for a national championship and they, they have decided to send us sports broadcasting here team here to cover it for you fans at home we're happy to be here this is a great opportunity once in a lifetime chance to uh improve and kind of uh, expand our branding and get our name out there not just for the college but ourselves as well the great crew of sherrod dixon max stewart ashton walker Man, make it all happen. Caleb Stalkup, I'm Justin Olmstead. I'll be bringing you the action on, on the mic, and uh, I'm pumped. I just want to say we cannot thank our driver, Mr. Talmadge, enough because he is the one that made all of this possible, along with Miss Marie and all the wonderful staff, Dr. Hoosier, and everybody else at Gaston College that made this possible. And we, like Justin said, to reiterate, we couldn't thank him enough. And we just want to say, go Rhinos! You know, just looking forward to getting in there. Shout out bus drivers, shout out everybody on the crew, and uh, let's put on a good broadcast. So we're having a BTS meeting right now, trying to work out the intro <laughs> material. And Justin was saying what? I was saying that we are going to go live with the uh, intro video at 11.08. That way we come in hot at 11.10, bringing the action to the fans at home with our introduction to what we have going on. And then we can have a short break and then come back and introduce the fans to the facility and what what the uh, action is going to be look is going to look like and on the broadcast. Yep. Thing we want to talk about that the visual lines up for it. You know what I mean? So Ashton, he's locked in on camera work today. Mr. Sherrod Dixon, he's locked in. Oh, I'm amped up, ready to go. Oh, I said it before, this is once in a lifetime opportunity to broadcast in any collegiate national championships tournament. Yeah, I, I can't explain it. It's hard to put it into words. Max, what you got for the camera? How you feeling fixing it? You're ready to go, dog. I, I'm, I'm fired up. Let's get it. Twelve, 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 twelve. I feel like that's gotta be way louder. Twelve, I'm working on it. Twelve, twelve, twelve. Are you ready? Strong, fearless, wise. These things don't define what we are, but instead, who we are. We're as fierce as we are faithful to those around us as imposing as we are inquisitive about the path ahead. 
with speed and agility that belies our iconic size and strength, we are never afraid to stand on our own or rise to any challenge that presents itself to us. Guided by a spirit that leads all who follow to greatness, just like our horns that never stop growing, neither does our will to win. We are the Rhinos. Fear the horn! Good morning from Florida, and welcome to today's student-led broadcast brought to you by the Gaston College Broadcasting and Production Technology Program. My name is Justin Olmstead, and today the Gaston College Beach Volleyball Team is making history on day one of the 2023 NJCAA National Championship Tournament. Bryant and Stratton College is a team out of Virginia Beach, Virginia that Gaston College has become very familiar with. Naomi is a native, uh, is a freshman out of Waterford, Michigan, and Christina Rotola is a, another freshman out of Charlotte, North Carolina. They are the number two pairing in, in this first game. Uh, I mean, I'd prefer to see the serve, but it's all good. Actually, since we're not on you, I'm just going to move to the right a little bit, like pick up the camera. Uh, all five of these Gaston College games are playing right now at the same time. Cherville, North Carolina, that's where Carly Phillips is from. And her partner, Bianca Bowen, she's another native of Cherville, North Carolina. It's Elizabeth Jones in number one, and Emma Downey playing in number seven. Elizabeth is a native of Mount Holly, North Carolina, and Emma is a sophomore from Gastonia, North Carolina. And number three, playing for the Gaston College Rhinos, is Malia Stiles. She's a freshman from Stanley, North Carolina, and her partner over on court B3 is Cameron Rivas, a freshman from Statesville, North Carolina. Now we have a look at the pair over on court A5. That's Christy Seifert from Huntersville and Leilani Nolasco from Gastonia. Thanks, fans, and stay tuned here on the home of Gaston College Athletics, gcrhinos.com. At the end of the first set of games, just taking a little break in between the action. Welcome to the action in game two of our double header today so these are two of the best players in the nation that that are rhinos elizabeth jones and emma downey are up against right now on court a1 court a5 that's where christy seifert and leilani nolasco are playing but we will be here again live tomorrow for some more action here at Hickory Point Beach in Tavares, Florida. Wish the Lady Rhinos the best of luck throughout the weekend. Go Rhinos! This is day 283 of the <laughs> broadcasting documentary here in Tavares, Florida. <laughs> Wishing them the best of luck this morning. First game is 11.30. We're getting ready to head on over to Hickory Point Beach to uh, get set up. Yeah. We need, we need to take out the media and point. Remember? Oh, because it's the pre sale yeah. like that. Good morning from Florida and welcome to today's student-led broadcast as the game is scheduled to begin at 11.30 a.m. in about three to five minutes. Their opponent is Trinidad State College out of Trinidad, Colorado. Gaston College has a little bit of momentum coming into this matchup. They, it's a, almost a must win to keep their hopes alive for a fifth place in this championship tournament. As we have a pause in the action on court two, we're going to take you to what's happening over on court A4, as that's the uh, competition between the four, the, the number four pairings. Yes, let's go! 
As you fans are tuned in to what's happening on court A2, we do have an update on what just happened on court A1. The Rhinos were able to pick up a win in the first set as the pairing of Elizabeth Jones and Emma Downey were able to pick up the win over their opponents. We have reached game point. I believe it's 20 to 19. And with that score that you fans just saw at home, Gaston College wins the first set by a score of, I believe it's 21 to 19. We hope you fans are enjoying the action as we bring it to you from court A3. You might be able to hear on the microphone a little bit of the wind blowing here at Tavares, Florida. After a hot day yesterday out here on the beach, it's nice to feel a little bit of that breeze pick up as we are situated right here on the banks of Lake Harris. It's a little difficult to bob and weave through all the nets and spectators and athletes here at Hickory Point. As I step back on the headset, you fans at home, I believe just saw the game point there on court A2 as Naomi Hilliard and Christina Rotola are able to pick up the win in the second set and clinch the victory in the match. <laughs> To my A2? Or A1, Roger, you, okay. That's it, that's it. Can we go? No, that's the celebration. Done. Christy and Leilani were able to pick up the win on court A5 in a comeback victory as well. The score was 9 to 13 a few moments ago. Gaston College makes a miraculous comeback and picks up the win down on court A5 as well. That means Gaston College wins over the Trinidad State Trojans by a final score of 3 to 2. Congratulations, Lady Rhinos, on a stellar performance to begin things here on day two. Game two will begin at 2 o'clock p.m. here live on GCRhinos.com. <laughs> Yes. We play Mesa at 2 o'clock. Yes. Yes. On the 8th court together. Okay. They're officially dismissing the team until later. We play to do it. GC Beach on 3. 1, 2, 3. GC Beach! Yeah! Let's go! Stay tuned here on the home of Gaston College Sports. Hi, Tegan. Hi, Tegan. <laughs> Max, what's going on right now? Let the people know. Uh, we're in between uh, sets of games right now. We won our first set, so uh, that's something to celebrate, but it's also nice to have a little break here. It was a little hectic, but uh, we're ready to get back into it. Way to grind, Max. Way to grind. Thank Justin, you, you want to say something to the people? It's hot. It's, it's hot. hot. I hear that. We got thank the college for blessing us with some nice cold uh, things to eat and drink. So we want to say thank you to them. Justin's got his, uh, Justin is fueled by strawberries, grapes, and uh, what else is in there? That's it, strawberries and grapes. It's fueled by strawberries and grapes. Everybody. <laughs> Even the camera ops. And, and rhino wins. <laughs> yeah, fueled by fruit and rhinos wins. Good afternoon as it, we approach the two o'clock hour. We're ready for game two. We, for the Gaston College Rhinos on day two of the NJCAA National Championship. They are taking on the Mesa Community College Thunderbirds. Gaston College comes into this matchup this afternoon fresh off of a big win over the Trinidad State College Trojans. It is now seven to six as they lead by one point over Gaston College. 
And it is all tied up at 10 to 10 here in the first set. Mesa Community College is located in Mesa, Arizona. I do have a scoring update from Max, though. It says that here on court A2, Gaston College is ahead by a score of 15 to 14 over the Mesa Community College Thunderbirds. Across the country, fans from all four corners of the United States are tuned in. That means that Mesa Community College wins this game by a score of three to zero over the Gaston College Rhinos. And from all of us here on the sports broadcasting team, thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you tomorrow live on GCRhinos.com. Good night, everyone. What are your thoughts on today? I think we did great. Um, you know, we won our first game, and the second game was not in our favor. But we got to cheer the win that we tried. Woo! <laughs> uh, I'm just, it's hot. I'm, uh, Mom, I'm ready to come home. That, that, that felt like it went by super fast, uh, yeah. which is a good thing, I guess. And, yeah. Uh, I'm ready to get back to the hotel. Thanks, Mo and the Rhinos, as you see him on our window there. He's been riding with us all hey, week man, long. Brother. Yeah, and, and well, <laughs> we, got, we got double vision, as you can see Mo on both sides. We're going to rest up. We're going to hit day three just as hard. And then we'll uh, take this bus ride home, and and that's it. You know, we'll be thankful to the NJCAA and everyone from Gaston Rhinos Athletics that made it happen. We'll, we're gonna live it up this last day, so you can bet on that. There you go. All right. Well, I'm gonna spin the camera around, and then we're gonna get a, a go Rhinos on three. One, two, three. Go, go Rhinos! Rhinos! Thank you. It's a weird situation where we're not only loading up for the game, but we're loading up to go home. So everyone had to be ready, preferably last night. This is our uh, championship right here. It's the last day. We're lunatics with this stuff. Like, we do a game, and hours later, we're in the room with it on the big TV. We're watching it, trying to see what was good, what was bad. It's like we was last night, right? Trying to see, uh, and using that to sort of form our plan for the last day. But, um... Well, if, if we're called the sports media lunatics, I think I can be a great mascot. <laughs> <laughs> and they said parents are here. I was like, man, if we can get this, uh, one of the parents in an interview too, that would be freaking cool. Let's go. Right yeah. Spike Net, Smack Sportswear, outfitting our officials, Bracket Pal, and of course, our great host, the NJCAA. Would you please put your hands together and say thank you to all those great companies. to bring you fans the action live from Hickory Point Beach. Gastonia has kept you fans informed by providing a live online and social information throughout this record-breaking season of Gaston College Sports. 
you fans can now see a good view of the layout here on the beach, right on the banks of Lake Harris in Central Florida, just outside of Orlando. The president of Gaston College, Dr. John Hooser, who uh, has allowed us to come down here and, and put a lot of trust in us to bring you fans the action at home. And it really paid off because we were able to bring you a special moment yesterday as Gaston College, as the Gaston College Beach Volleyball team became the first Gaston College sports program to win a game in national championship competition. Earlier this week, Ms. Kate, Mrs. Kate Carmody took four of her, uh, the broadcasting students up to Greensboro, North Carolina for the Skills USA Challenge where Jordan Taylor and Justin Hensley put the, the win in the competition and Ron Key and Drew Ellis finished second. And their opponent here this morning is the Bryant and Stratton College of Wisconsin Bobcats. So a pretty intriguing matchup here as a team from Dallas, North Carolina faces off a team faces off against a team from Wauwatosa, Wisconsin. Congratulations to Naomi Hilliard and Christina Rotola for winning the first set. Over on court A4, Gaston College was able to pick up a 21-8 win in the first set as well. That was Carly Phillips and Bianca Boland. And then on court A5, which you fans were tuned into, Gaston College picked up a win in that set as well, 21-9 over the Bryant and Stratton College Bobcats. Down on court A5 was Leilani Nolasco and Christy Seifert. So congratulations to all those pairings as they were able to pick up a win in the first set. Gaston College is only behind by one point. The score is 6-5. to five. I need to, need to make sure I say that right every time. We are the number one junior college sports broadcast. And that's why we are able to bring you the action here from court A1 down in Central Florida where Elizabeth Jones and Emma Downey are currently winning by a score of 7-6. to six. That's a Rhinos victory on A1. Rhinos win. 21 to 18. I have a scoring update. Gaston College is ahead by a score of 20 to 13. We've got our camera operators of Ashen Walker and Sherrod Dixon relaying that information up here to Max Stewart as, as I peek over and try to get an update on the scores. Gaston College picked up another win in that second set by a score of 21 to 17. So congratulations to Leilani Nolasco and Christy Seifert as they were able to sweep the both sets. And with as you just heard on, from the public address announcer, with that win on court A2, shortly after the players on court A5 were able to pick up a win, Gaston College secures a victory this morning by a score of 3-0 over the Bryant and Stratton College of Wisconsin. Congratulations to all of the Lady Rhinos. So a great round of play this morning for Gaston College as they're able to complete a three-game sweep over the Bryant and Stratton College of Wisconsin. As you can see, Caleb getting into the shot. He's creating a video documentary documenting the footage of not only us on the broadcast team, but the beach volleyball team as well. Gaston College Rhinos are scheduled to play a second game at 11.45 a.m. They will play the winner of the Trinidad State Trojans and the Spartanburg Methodist Pioneers. We hope you enjoyed the show. About a two, two and a half hours, we'll be back on the air here on GCRhinos.com. Thanks again to you fans at home, and good morning from Central Florida. Shut everything down in between streams and let our equipment cool off and take a little break, um, which is much needed. Right now, they have they have outplayed. I mean, they've really done a great job. Coach is doing a fantastic job with them. Uh, the girls really worked hard to get here, and mm -hmm. they deserve to be here. And the staff and students at Gaston should be very proud of them because they have represented Gaston College fantastically. Go Rhinos! You know, I'm just overwhelmed with just gratitude for the whole experience. Like, one, how amazing these last few days have been. We've had amazing weather, and given the weather that we have had to battle through all season, this is like 
feels like heaven. So a huge thank you to Marie because unless you've done this before, like this is a pretty exhausting adventure to be outside in the heat and the sun like all day and even in the sands like running around and between Marie and Julie and then Talman and Lynn, I mean, they fought and no matter what happens this next week, like we're gonna finish top ten of the country. That's right. And for our first year program, like and we've been able to bring it to the people live on yes. gcrhinos.com. We're right. the only school out here live streaming it. The only school live streaming it. I mean, my parents in Michigan are watching. We've got folks all over the country that are getting to watch us that would not have the chance. Like, our parents who couldn't travel, you know, our athlete's parents are getting to watch them. Um, so thank you to the broadcasting team. Because I know this is a cool experience for, for you guys to get to do this, but you guys have done a good job. Like, everyone's been so complimentary of, like, what you guys are doing. And it's so cool. I'm just so happy for what this means for like the sport in the general, like in, in our area, like mm -hmm. the first collegiate team on any level in the Charlotte area. And it's yes, yeah, I'm grateful. I'm, I'm excited um, for what's to come. Um, I'm just really proud of, of these girls. Thank you for this uh, for this behind the scenes peel behind the curtain, coach. <laughs> Go Rhinos! Welcome back to Hickory Point Beach. Junette Pierre was featured in a news article on Queen City News, channel Fox 46 in Charlotte, North Carolina. But I want to say that um, the experience that I have with the um, Gaston College Beach Volleyball team is just beyond. I do not have enough words to express how I feel about it. He's played travel sports for many years and we've never had the opportunity to do something like this. So very well organized, beautiful place, great watching all these great athletes. So it's been a great experience. These guys, I mean, behind the scenes, hours and hours of preparation for this event that doesn't get seen is really appreciated. I like to be a part of it. I'm really glad that you guys are with me and y'all are part of it. Thank you for the support and thanks for noticing too as we try our best to maintain our spot as the number one junior college sports broadcast in America. You go Rhino, baby! Gaston College does face off against Spartanburg Methodist College, which is just a few miles down the road, down Interstate 85 into South Carolina. With that game point right now by Spartanburg Methodist College, they take a 21-14 to victory on Court A5. You're tuned in now to Court A3. That's where Malia Stiles and Cameron Revis are playing for Gaston College. They lost to the first set by a score of 21 to 15, and they are currently trailing by a score of 0 to 2 here in the second set. Based off of what I saw um, with players shaking each other's hands, it looks like Gaston College suffered a loss in both of those sets over on court A1. So Gaston College picks up the victory in the second set on court A2, and the score down on court A5, which you were watching, is 22 to 20 as Gaston College picks up the win in that set. Play has just concluded, and Gaston College suffered the loss, 21 to 19, a heartbreaking loss. And that loss for Gaston College in the second set secures the victory for Spartanburg Methodist College. Top 10 team in the nation, Gaston College Rhinos, in their very first season playing beach volleyball. Congratulations, Lady Rhinos. Thank you to Gaston College President Dr. John Hooser. From me personally, it's a pleasure to come down here and bring the action to you fans at home and to everybody and gain exposure for not only Gaston College, but these athletes have, that have made the decision and the commitment to come to Gaston College and play in the brand new athletics program that is just, just getting underway and to be able to have a team go compete for a national championship down in Florida in the inaugural season is very special and to be able to cover that with the sports broadcasting team is something I will never forget. For everybody in the broadcasting department, my name is Justin Olmstead saying so long from Central Florida. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you for supporting me, Mom, and for like always cheering me on. Even if you can't be here, I know you're watching at home. And I know my siblings are watching too, and my dad is too, so thank you for supporting me all the way over here. Coach, you have been a great person. Um, you have helped us a lot and always pushed us, and you always tell us how great we are. 
you you push us because you know that we can do better than we we are doing. So thank you so much for being like a second mom right now and for supporting us each and every game. Go Rhinos! <laughs> okay, my name is Liz Jones. And you're a sophomore and here a with sophomore. the Rhinos. Yes. What's your immediate thoughts on this whole experience? Uh, Florida Heat is no joke, but it's been really fun and we're top 10 in the nation, so that's amazing. And it's just been a great experience no matter what, so. What are you, uh, is there anything you want to say to your teammates? Um, thank you for pushing me to be the best that I can be. Thanks to my partner, Emma, and thanks to all of you guys and everything. Is there anything you want to say to your family back home? Um, thanks mom and dad for always being here when you can and watching me when you can't be here. And my boyfriend Luke and his family, thank you for always supporting me too. Is there anything you want to say to Coach Narika? Uh, yes. Coach, thank you for just pushing us to be the best we can be and always believing in us. And we love you so much. Go Rhinos! <laughs> Hi, I'm Christy. It's been an amazing opportunity. Um, we've had a lot of fun on and off the court. It's a beautiful place and we're just happy to be here. We fought really hard to be here and here we are. So I'm really proud of us. My teammates. I love them dearly. I'm going to miss them so much. They, they work as hard as anyone I know and I don't know what I would do without them. So I love you guys. You got any shout outs you want to give the people back home? Uh, yeah, shout out Ryan, my boyfriend, he's watching my dog right now, I love you. <laughs> Coach Norika, you fought so hard for me from the beginning, I don't know what I would do without you. You gave me this opportunity and let me run with it, and I can't thank you enough. I love you. Go Rhinos! Hey, I'm Carly Phillips and I'm a sophomore. It's been an amazing experience. We've had so much fun, and getting to play with my best friends is the best thing in the world. Oh no, I'm gonna cry. My teammates are by far my best friends. They push me to be the best I can be every single practice. And even if I'm having a tough day, I can always look at them and instantly change my mood. So thank you for making it the best year and having the best teammates in my life. Coach, you're by far the best coach I think I've ever had in my life. You push us every day and you are so willing to work with us and teach us new things every day. And I love you so much, thank you. Lynn has been absolutely fantastic all season. We love her so much. She is by far one of the most incredible women I've ever met. She's great. And thank you to Talmud who stepped in literally last minute to help us. You are fantastic and amazing. Thank you. Mom, I love you so much. You don't even know how much. Matt, thank you for just always being with me and making me laugh. You're by far the best dad in the world. My brother, I love you so much. My sister, love you. Love everybody. Go Rhinos. Everyone look up at the draw. Hands in the air. Everyone hands in the air. All right, thank you very much. Please resume your normal activities at this time. Thank you, Coach Narika. If it wasn't for you, these girls would not be here today. And we just want to say how proud we are of your skills with them, how far they've come since the beginning of the play, since the beginning of, what, August? We love the whole team. We, we love you as a coach, and we're just so happy to be a part of your family. Thank you for inviting us to Nationals. We were so excited, and they played hard. They really did. I can't tell you how Important, important it was for you guys to be here for not only us or people that we just know to remember this memory. all over the country there was people from california new york and all over the country wanting to know what you guys filmed and how can we watch it and yeah, you can watch it live you guys brought it live the broadcasting team was key that's that's amazing and and yes college has one great team go right go right uh, I'm a little speechless after what I did. Yeah, what do these guys have to say? Yeah. Honestly, it's been a crazy ride. You know, it, it was uh, such a thrill, and I'm really tired and uh, ready to take a nap on the bus. Yup. What about you, Max? I, I agree with that so much. I'm ready to get on the bus, but that was uh, a great time. Super, super like bittersweet. But I mean, game two was amazing. Definitely, I think one, probably our best broadcast down here. Uh, I was felt super locked in. Ads went good. Got a bunch of interviews from Justin. He gave a fire speech at the end too. <laughs> had me tearing up. Uh, but yeah, that, that's a wrap. That's all I gotta say. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thanks, yeah. Caitlin.
whole lot of broadcast stuff going on. You know, media. You big, you big. Boss man, I found a spot for the crowd, Mike.